what you don't want to do is you're out to just date and you would looking up with hooking up with somebody who trying to get married or vice versa you trying to get married you looking for a wife and this woman's a good woman everything but just been toe up hurt by different by different dudes so now she don't want to get attached to nobody you don't want nobody like that man <laughs> you just don't want somebody like that man let somebody like that go even any beautiful women trust me i did it let them go trust me it is it, it, it going to be better for you in the long run personal ethics what does she think is right and what does she think is wrong does she think it's wrong to mistreat people or does she think that's cool or mistreat certain people and treat other people i mean what do you what's what's cool you gotta you gotta see what's going on with her wheelhouse her moral compass is is her ethics in line with your ethics you know now if you an asshole and she's an asshole y'all two assholes together okay maybe y'all cool each other out but what you don't want is you an asshole and you get with somebody that's cool and then you burn that person up because that's what's going on out there now assholes getting with good people and just burning the good people up and like zombies turning the good people into assholes men and women so I'm talking to the men hey you look you see hey is this person moral compass in line with your moral compass do she think it's cool to steal or she think it's only cool to steal from this person but not this person or she cook is cool to steal from these people but not these people and it's cool to you got to check out somebody more compass and then if you see them they more compass is off from yours slowly head out the back door man you don't want to be with somebody because see let me tell you something about people who steal i mean i don't care they say i don't steal from i will never steal from you baby i would steal from this person man eventually your name is going to get to that list so why should you even be around people that would steal or or cheat or just they don't think they don't their loyalty is not with you eventually they're gonna dis dis uh disrespect you and you don't want somebody with a different moral compass than you sexual compatibility sexual compatibility how compatible are you and this person sexually that's an investigation you gotta do so you gotta have a talk with this person man you gotta say, hey, I like I like oral sex. I don't like oral sex. I like this. I like that. You gotta have that conversation with somebody as you. Not in the beginning. I'm gonna say that that would throw somebody off. But I'm saying eventually, when you get when you get to know a person a little tighter, you can say, hey, I have this conversation. If you're looking to, depending on what you're looking to do, you wanna have that conversation up front. So, I've had I had experience where women said, hey, I don't perform this type of sexual act I just don't do that that's unclean to me in my eyes that's unclean I said thank you very much I, I, and we never spoke again it was good for her good for me now she can be with somebody who doesn't want that happening I don't know of anybody who doesn't but that, that she could now be with a man that's cool with that and obviously he'll go somewhere else and get it I don't I guess I mean but whatever you know what I mean? But hey, at least I'm not involved with somebody who's frustrating me by not performing things that I, by not giving me what I need sexually. Then the other thing is, another thing you got to watch out for is some women, some women in the early 20s and the early te late teens, early 20s, and maybe even into their 30s. They've been, they've been on the grind, man. They've been, they've been a dynamo. So, uh, they so they they have they, once they do all of that sometimes a lot of times they become asexual. You want to have they they're not sexually stimulated anymore because they so they've had so much sex they're just not stimulated by the sexual experience anymore. You do not want to be be with somebody like that, man. They got a hundred thousand miles on the vagina, man. They just they become asexual. You don't want it. They you know they just like I'm done. Okay, so what you don't want to do is be be around somebody like that, or be try to be in a dating relationship with someone like that. Someone like that, asexual person, let them be. Unless you in a position where you say to yourself, "Hey, I'm not looking to have sex with somebody. I can just go out with them." Okay, but to me, women have gay friends they can go out with if they don't want to have sex. They asexual like that, let them go out with. Why should they take somebody? that's interested in sex and then put them in a position where they're going to be frustrated to me that's 
that's selfish there's no more versions out there very rare to you find a version in this is in our society in American society being a virgin is just very uncommon so you need to check the conceptual compatibility man because some people will say hey like I said I don't do this type of I don't perform this type of act I do perform this type of act but only in a limited situation or this or that see somebody like that you need to know you need to have had a conversation up front there's nothing wrong with you asking like I said I asked I asked because I wanted to know up front what was going to happen if they wasn't going to do that I was I wanted I wanted to know if you wasn't interested in that that's cool I mean I'm not saying you're a bad person I'm just saying I'm not interested in being with somebody who I'm going to be frustrated with I'm just not I'm not interested in that I'm not saying you're a bad person but I'm not interested in being with somebody who's going to frustrate me sexually I'm just not and you shouldn't either you need to check your compatibility the desired amount is twice a week okay three times a week four to five times a week whatever it is you need are they okay with that if they're not okay with that you need to say to yourself hmm do I need to be in a situation where this, I'm gonna be frustrated because I'm not getting what I want sexual sensitivity I already spoke about them a lot of women some women are asexual they asexual they've had so much sex that the vagina is just pretty much not uh not a beacon of light anymore you know what I mean so they don't it's like <laughs> it's like a, an abandoned building man so you don't want to be with somebody like that man because you're going to be frustrated I think I pretty much made my point on that alright man a desire to please man you want somebody who they have a high desire to please you because that's going to give you a high that should translate it should translate in you having a high desire to please them you don't want somebody that doesn't want to please you man or they they waiting on you to run around pleasing them like many miles you running behind them trying to just do everything for them no they should be wanting to please you because that's going to automatically you as a man it's gonna automatically make you try to please them it should it should if you're a right kind of person why would you want somebody pleasing you only and you don't have to please nobody else? You're setting yourself up for some you you you're setting yourself up for coming home one day and finding a cigar that you don't even smoke in the in the you know in the ashtray. I mean, if you're not gonna please your woman, I'm some somebody else will. And eventually, how many years you want your woman to go unpleased? Two, four, five, ten? I think by that tenth year, somebody at work is gonna say, you know what, baby, you look good. But you look a little frustrated. I can scratch your back. Oh no, I'm okay. One time, two times, three times. How many times your woman gonna walk around frustrated before she say, you know what? Some dude says, hey, let's just go to lunch. Next thing you know, pumping and sweating in the shit. That, but that's what I'm saying. But this all starts from her desire to please you. Then you can control your level of desire to please her. And then you can match that level. Okay? Does she want to please you? Man, you do not want to be with a woman that's not looking to please you. If she's not looking to please you, then you are, you really are just playing games with yourself. <laughs> you, you playing games with yourself, man. How you going to be with a woman that ain't trying to please you, man? She need to be trying to please you. And if she not, man, that's all her, man. Let her go do somebody else. Like, let her go not please somebody else, man. Maybe there's guys, man, listen, there, there's guys out there, man, that's so thirsty man they do not looking for a person to actually treat them right they just look for somebody to be happy sexual with them in any type of fashion man they don't even have to be in a good type of fashion see me i'm like this man i want sex like i want my cake i don't want no bad piece of cake i want every piece of cake i eat to be good i want every time i go to the hole i want it to be good i don't want to be there and work at that because i'm gonna do i'm gonna put some serious time in work in so if I'm going to do that, I want to know that uh, it's going to be worth it. And you need to know, does this woman want to be have the same attitude? Dowry. What is this woman bringing to the table, man? What is this woman bringing to the table? Does she have employment? Is she gainfully employed? Uh, does she have uh, 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 any type of uh, financial resources? Does she have any type of... Uh, 
uh, is she a good person? Is she good with children? Is she good with whatever? I mean, what does she bring to the table that makes her uh, worthy of you, her being a candidate for your to be a mate for you? What does she bring to the table that you could say, huh? You know, like when you go for an interview and they and the last question they ask you, right? Is there anything else you have to say that could add to the, this whole experience? Do you have anything else to say to add? You know, they should. This is when the dow, their dowry comes in. What do they bring it to the table? In addition to everything else they're doing, what do they bring it to the table? Financially, spiritually, emotionally, what do they bring it to the table? Child rearing philosophy. What is their child rearing philosophy? Does she agree with your methods of discipline? You gonna use a belt? You gonna just talk to them? You gonna time out? You gonna? Does she agree with your methods of discipline, man? And where you want to go and your goals for these children? Does she agree? Is she gonna stay out of your way? Is she gonna get involved? This is see you gotta have this conversation, man. Before you start trying to have put yourself in a position where conception could occur, right? Can she even have children? If you are you looking to have children, or have you already had children and you just trying to, you know, date someone? But I'm thinking most of you guys are young enough where you want to have children at some point. Can she have children? See that? Why, if you looking to have children, why would you even date somebody that can't produce children? For whatever reason, man, they're sick, they've had some type of injury, trauma, whatever, or they just have some kind of illness where they can't do it. Why would you frustrate yourself dating someone like that and, and marrying someone unless you're okay with that? Unless you okay with the fact that, hey, well, I can be, I just adopt with this person. That's cool. Unless that's cool with you. But I'm thinking most, kid, most cats will, at least at the beginning, at first, want to produce their own children. Family history. What kind of family history? What kind of family did she grow up in? Did she grow up in a one parent, single parent household? Two parent household? Was anybody on crack, drugs? prostitute and this or that you got to know this stuff man got to ask these questions and they're hard questions man and most women gonna feel like you're getting in a business but your bit their business is your business man if you dating them if you trying to date them their business is your business now you need to know hey man what's going on you ain't got to be straight out hey what kind of family you go up in just you got to just be observant that's why you got to meet the family it's important it's a lot of y'all don't want to meet the family because you think i just want to slam it and hit it i don't want to be bothered with our family and her, her family drama but no you gotta you need to at least meet the family and see the family a couple of times so you can see what's going on and see why she's the way she is and what's her current situation with the family is she in good with the family is she okay with them or is she uh, don't talk to nobody in their family and why you gotta know this stuff man you gotta see this kind of stuff if you actually trying to mate with somebody man you need to know because a lot of times they have problems with their own fa their immediate family you don't think those problems gonna swing over to you Come on, man. You got to use your brain. Emotional fitness. You don't want a woman like you watch this show, Love and Hip Hop Hollywood. And you see the Love and Hip Hop period, the whole series. And you see a constant barrage of women who are emotionally unfit. And yet, they have men on the show that are pursuing these women and trying to, and trying to have normal relationships with these emotionally unfit people that is ridiculous that's stupid that's like that's like digging for gold on the moon there's no gold on the moon why would you even get in a spaceship and go to the moon land on the moon take oxygen up to the moon and then start shoveling on the moon that's ridiculous that but that's the same thing that's gonna make the same amount of sense as dating someone who's emotionally unfit some of these people have jealousy, rage, self-control, and obedience issues. See, man, let me tell you something, man. You cannot be with somebody that won't obey you. You cannot. You cannot protect somebody that you that won't obey you. If you tell somebody be here at this time and they're not there, they don't they don't obey your instructions. You cannot protect someone like that. You cannot defend someone. You say, "Get back, baby. I got this." A person like and she run out there and start swinging and fighting a person like that is a liability for you she don't even realize that person now is exposing you now not only do you have to defend yourself you got to try to defend her and they make you expose you at they they ex, uh, put you in a weakened state because now you got to fight 
not only her battle but your own battle that's you don't want somebody that's not in obedience to you i'm just being real and if people don't like that they don't like that but if you want to be with some if you want to mate with somebody and if you want to have a the proper mating you sh you cannot be with a person and protect that person if the person won't obey your instructions period they have the choice of whether they're going to obey your instructions or not i'm not saying you beat somebody over the head but you get somebody clear instructions and they won't follow your instructions that's telling you something right there you tell somebody be here at this time and she don't show up at that time or she show up an hour later two hours later three hours later. that's what they think about you that's how much she think about you you should not be or you tell the person cook this meal for me and have it ready at this time and you don't you show up and it ain't cooked or ready and they just sitting there that's what that person think about you you gotta just you gotta take a little sign this is not science this is not astrophysics astrophysiology this is not astrophysics this is simple information man you just gotta take simple bits of information add it all up and say aha this person is not for me this person is for me temperament what kind of temperament does this woman experience on the on the main on a regular basis you gotta know that man that's why I say you gotta take somebody out man spend a little money take them out just to see how they treat other people man you cause you gotta know how they gonna treat other people depending on how they treat other people is how they gonna treat you eventually do they have a mild temperament? Do they have a hot temperament? Do they have a cold temperament? How are they in different situations? You got to see all that, man. You got to be able to add this stuff up so you can know. Do they have violent tendencies? So do they get upset? Do, do, does she use violence regularly to deal with stressful situations? She got mad, so she starts throwing things all over the house. Or she, just, or she crashed your car. Do you want gotta stay away from people like that i don't care how good they look see you focus me as black people black men we focus on the physical appearance of someone and we'll say okay we're gonna forsake all these other things that i'm saying be based on only one factor and that's the physical appearance but that is just getting us in a major trouble because we're not doing the scientific approach to this situation you don't want to be with somebody that's going to be violent because as soon or later they're going to be violent with you and then you're going to be stuck with somebody. You're going to have stuck with children with somebody who's violent. You're going to be stuck in a relationship with somebody that's violent. And that ain't never no fun. Traumas. Man, let me tell you something, man. A lot of our women have been sexually abused. Three out of four uh, black women have been sexually abused at, or sexually assaulted in, in some way or another. In one way or another. They have. They just have, man. Because... We out there doing all kind of stuff. We black men. We out here doing all kind of stuff, man. And black women, as we know, they always portrayed like you see on Love and Hip Hop. They they portrayed as you know uh, aggressive, uh, sexually aggressive hoes. That's just how they portrayed in me in many cases. That's how they portray. So so men are always on them like that. Even if they not like that, they 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 approach them and treat them like like. Like they just these over sexually stimulated hoes that gotta have it all the time, you know what I mean? So a lot of them have been traumatized, man, by having different situations happen to them: sexual abuse, physical abuse, uh, mental abuse, emotional abuse. We all got some traumas, man. But does she have some hidden traumas, rapes, assaults? The average woman ain't gonna tell you. Yeah, I got raped three times. Or I got raped before. Or I've had four abortions. They're not gonna tell you that stuff, man. That's kind of stuff you ain't gonna find out till you marry for four, for ten or fifteen years. You ain't gonna, and if you find that that any of that stuff out, most women are not gonna tell you stuff like that up front. So you gotta just kind of like add. You gotta know how to add, read between the lines, man. You know, somebody tell you I hadn't date for two or three years. You gotta kind of like, why wouldn't somebody as beautiful as you wasn't dating for two or three years? What happened? Why you dress like this? Why you you gotta always be you gotta be a scientist, man. You gotta be a scientist and add stuff up so you can see, so you can get the best result you're looking for. Cause you don't want to be with somebody, man, that's had these traumas, and then they can't get out of certain behaviors because they got these traumas. But see, a lot of people, a lot of women, in particular, men too, men do it too. But men, women in particular, I'm talking about men. I'm talking about women right now. They can, they they hide these behaviors based on these traumas. 
So when they with you, you seeing this golden goose. But as soon as they leave you, they go back to being the ugly duckling that they are in, on the inside. And you don't want to be with somebody like that. That's why you got to take people out and just kind of see them in different situations so you can see, ah, okay, this is how they be. And, you know, you, you see somebody mistreating a waiter or a waitress or different people or won't say excuse me or this or that. Add that stuff up, man. You got to see that and add it up so you can say, aha. You ain't got to do it. Well, you ain't got to say aha out loud. You just say in your mind, okay, this one ain't the one for me. But I could go out and hang out with her. But she definitely ain't the one for me. Like for me, what get you off the list for me would be cigarettes. I mean, as soon as somebody lit up a cigarette, I knew I was dating this chick one time. And she had me over to her place. And we were going to go to a movie. And so I'm sitting there waiting on her to get herself together. She said, excuse me one second. I got to go outside. So she goes outside and uh she lights a cigarette and i said what you doing i didn't even know she i didn't even know she smoked and she said oh yeah i'm just having a cigarette i knew right then i didn't say nothing to her but i knew right then that that we was not going to be serious i knew it even though she was a nice person she was fun she was a good person she was good people she's still good people she 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 had she had a sister that had some uh, two daughters that would and the sister was on crack she took she adopted those daughters i mean she was a good person but i just cannot rock with somebody that smoked that's me that's my personal thing i can't do it but other people because i had a father that smoked like a train and i just I, it just it it, it, it it always turned me off so i just could never rock with somebody like that but you know you know she was a good person so we parted ways there was another and there was another guy that liked her but and i let that dude be the man because see man you gotta know man you gotta be the man for yourself and sometimes you gotta know when to when to get off when to stop when to say hey look this is i need to cut this here because if i let it go then it's gonna be a real ugly situation last thing is this is gonna be your trophy wife you looking to do all of this is so that you can have a, a wife that you are happy with okay so this woman gotta know when i say trophy not that you gotta she gotta have an augmented body just that she's gotta be the representation of you and a a, 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 a glim a shining representation of you and your program and what you about and if she's willing to do that and she understands that she's your trophy man does she understand she represents you at all times and wants to be she wants you to be represented in the best way at all times does she understand that so that she's not out there you know she's not out there uh, misrepresenting you to your family go s do something with your family and to, yeah this mf dad and mf this and nigga this and nigga that you don't want your wife talking like that you publicly that's between you and her yeah you can talk but you, you know you don't want your wife publicly speaking like that like no man that's you know so this you got to understand this and you got to be with somebody who understands that she wants to not only have herself look good but she also knows that she represents you as well okay that's my little guide on how to try to find a mate and when i say the science of mating science of proper mating just the science of trying you trying to get a, a lifelong mate for yourself that's what this is about this ain't about you trying to date as far as just dating but dating yes but long term finding a mate as as in marriage as in a long term partner alright so that's that you know you can leave me a comment tell me what you think and uh, glad to be back